Okay, and we're live. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you today. I'm with the man of the hour, President Shai Resha. How are you, Shai? I'm very good. Thank you. Oh, it's so nice to be here with you. Every term, I get to be so lucky, and I get to interview you. It's so nice. Um, we'll give everyone a few minutes to tune in, and then we'll get into the actual uh, interview. So just a few minutes, Shy. Hold on. Hold on tight. Don't go anywhere. Um, <laughs> So I just want to say hi to all our viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today is the first day of the new term, which is so exciting. I hope everyone had a nice break and you did well on your exams. And it looks like everyone's super excited that Shai is here. You know, Shai, I don't get these kind of exciting comments. I just want you to know. It's all you. Um, so why don't our students let us know? <laughs> <laughs> it's all you. Come on, be serious. Um, okay, so I want all of our students to let us know what you're studying and all of our applicants. Why don't you let us know where you're from so we can differentiate. If you are an applicant, um, we did include a link in the description of this event to um, apply to University of the People. You can still apply for next term. It's not too late. Um, if anyone has any questions, I encourage you to ask them throughout the live event. We will review and respond. Um, if we don't uh, respond to your comment during the event, we will respond after. Not to worry, we do look at every single comment, so don't be shy. Um, oh, Thomas is saying hi to the man of the hour, too. He knows what's up. Okay, so hi, everyone. Thank you. I'm going to try to get serious. Um, I'm going to put on my serious face. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in today. Like I said, it's always a pleasure to interview uh, President Shai Reshev. Um, we're very excited because it's the biggest uh, uh, intake to a new term. Shai will talk a little bit more about that. Um, and I think, like I said, first chance to save your spot for next term. Um, I'm going to turn it in to sh turn it over to Shai. And Shai, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and I'll let you take it from here. Okay, so thank you so much for inviting me. It's a great honor to be here and to be interviewed by you. And for those of you who don't know, my name is Shai Reshef. I'm the president of University of the People. And for those of you who don't know, we are a nonprofit, tuition-free, accredited American online university. I know that many of you are, are our students, and many others are planning to become students. And I think it's a great opportunity to be here today and to get to know you and to know and you to know the university. Welcome our new students and the continuing students for the second term of a 2021 academic year. It's, it's a, a great occasion for us to start a new term. Uh, this term, as the previous one, we still the biggest, we continue to be, continue to be this term, the biggest term we ever had. We are about 50,000 students uh, studying today with the University of the People. We started about 11, 12 years ago and we started from being very small. We grew exponentially in the last few years after we received accreditation, and especially recently because of the COVID-19. So many more people want to study with us, either because they are locked at home or because they lost their job and they need new jobs or they need to complete their education. So we are experiencing a lot of students that come to us to study with us. And we would like uh, to welcome all of them and to open the gates to all of them. And those of you who are just starting with us, good luck with your studies with us. Okay, thanks, Shai. And congratulations on having your biggest intake ever. That's very exciting news for you and um, the rest of the university. So we share the celebration with you, of course. Um, I want to talk about some of the exciting updates and recognition that University of the People did receive last term. 
Um, I believe that last term you were invited to speak at the UN generally, I'm sorry, UN General Assembly to share Euro people's experience during the COVID-19 pandemic and beyond. Um, I was wondering if you could maybe tell uh, our students uh, a little bit more about that experience and why you were asked to do this. And I'll let you take it from here. Thank you, and thank you for the question. I was invi invited to the UN General Assembly, a UNESCO session on uh, education during the COVID and uh, beyond. Um, because as you know, most universities close their doors, almost all universities close their doors during the COVID-19. But while many universities thought it's a one-time short period, they realized that it's going on and on. Now it's full term. A lot of universities said, well, in spite of the, of the pandemic, we'll open our doors, and they had to shut down again. Many of them experienced outbreak on campus, and universities really don't know what to do. Now, we offer an alternative. We are online. We have always been online, and we are still online, and we, that's our existence, and we know how to teach online, how to accommodate students safely because they don't need... The social distancing is actually what we are all about because you, our students study remotely. And we wanted to give our experience to other universities, tell them how to do it right, what, what uh, uh, challenges are there, what mistakes they can avoid, and how to accommodate their students. Um, so we shared our experience to other, other universities. We were invited because of our experience, because other universities want to learn from us and you know we are non-profit we are tuition free we are there to serve the world and as such we are more than happy to share our experience and teach other universities so that's why we were invited there and i was talking there and you're welcome to see it obviously i was talking to there about our experience about uh, how to do it right and as i said what mistakes to avoid and uh, we received a great reception i would obviously say that us being a uh, uh, chosen to speak at that uh, extremely important event is, is very important for us. It's a, a sign of recognition and being so young, it's great that we were the one to, uh, to be invited and to share our experience in this, in such an important event. And yes, I had, I had a chance to watch and it was really great to watch. I felt very proud. And you did a great job, Shai, as usual. Um, speaking of <laughs> you're welcome. Speaking of recognition, I want to talk about some more recognition that we received last term. So um, we UO People was named uh, one of the top ten universities in North America by a crowdsourcing ranking. Can you please tell us about this survey and why it was such an exciting accomplish accomplishment for University of the People? Yeah, it is a great uh, accomplishment, and I, I should say that it was a surprising uh, accomplishment. Uh, a website called um, StuDoco um, decided to have a crowd ranking. They have 5 million visitors a month, and they asked their visitors to rank the top universities of the world and of the U.S. 100,000 students participated in this uh, crowd ranking. And we were chosen among uh, the top 10 universities. Now, this is so surprising because we have never participated in any ranking. We felt that we're doing a great job. We are there to serve the students. And we are there to do a great job for our students. We do know that we are doing a great job. But ranking and all this competition of ranking and all this... Uh, all this uh, chase to be ranked is not something we ever participated. We felt like we're doing our job and we're happy with our job. And we know how happy our students are. 90, over 90% 90 of our students constantly recommend us to their friend as a good place of study. We don't need more than that. We are doubling every year, which means that uh, there is a satisfaction in students telling their peers about uh, how good we are. 92% of our students find jobs in great companies such as uh, uh, IBM and Apple and Amazon and, and Microsoft and I can go on and on. So we're doing a great job and we know that we're doing a great job. Our students know that we're doing a great job and we felt that's enough. 
One day I woke up and I saw Google Alert, which means that University of the People were mentioned somewhere. So I went obviously to check and see where we were mentioned. And I found about this ranking, and I found that we ranked among the, te the top 10 uh, university, universities together with uh, Duke and Vanderbilt. And that's a great honor for us. We are extremely important with it. And uh, what can I say? I guess that uh, the students said the word, and uh, we can just thank our students and all the thousands, tens of thousands who, who participated in this uh, survey and decided that we were to be ranked among the top 10. That must have been a very nice alert to wake up to. <laughs> um, <It was> <laughs> so, um, okay, I'm gonna shift it a little bit. Um, I wanna talk about last month we celebrated on October 5th, we celebrated International Teachers Day by interviewing one of our course instructors course instructor, Diana Bauman. Um, she teaches an English composition course at UO People. So for those of you who don't know, um, UO People has uh, you know, 50,000 students from over 200 countries and territories. These are students who are not necessarily proficient in English. So if you are not proficient in English, it's not a problem. You know, we do offer English composition courses to catch you up to speed. And Diana Bauman is an, a course instructor who teaches one of these English courses. So it was so lovely to interview her. I've never interviewed a course instructor. Um, you know, the interview was really about her experience teaching at University of People and her diverse background in education. And of course, we wanted to celebrate teachers all over the world and kind of honor them in that way. Um, what message? you have shy for our viewers about the instructors at university of the people thank you thank you for asking and it's a good question because you know these people is our essence we wouldn't have been here without them and we we hardly talk about them and you're right we should talk more about them so le let me start by saying yes we have about fifty thousand students but we have seventeen thousand volunteers among them, 1,000 are instructors. And the instructors are people who come to us from other places because they believe that what we do is important, because they believe in our mission that every single student on earth deserves the opportunity of higher education. And they are the ones who come and say, we want to help this mission, this vision to come true, and we want to make sure that the quality is there. So if you look at our academic uh, department as a whole look for example about uh, on our academic leadership uh, so we have a president's council of the presidents a uh, president formers of the best universities in the world so the presidents of uh, oxford and the uh, Edinburgh and uh, Berkeley and Columbia and McGill and and the uh, NYU G presidents of great universities are coming to lead us academically. Our provost is from Columbia University. Our deans are from uh, NYU and Berkeley. And the instructors also coming from all sort of, sorts of universities, either teaching there and also teaching for us. Many of them are retired professors who have great experience retiring from great universities but want to continue and giving back to teach more students or just young PhDs that want to come to us and get the experience. And all these people come to us and we train them if they don't have the experience about our pedagogy. And those of you, our students, know that our pedagogy is slightly than other universities. We have, it's a peer-to-peer. -peer. Well, I have to, to tell you that the dog is not mine. <laughs> he wants to say hi to everyone and he can't control himself. Okay, I no. think he's... Sorry, no, that's, that's okay. I, I, I met your dog. I love your dog. So that's good. She's a great dog. Yeah. So very friendly. So, um, so they come to us in order, in order to help our students. And they give above and beyond what they expect to help the students. And they give, they, we train them to teach online. We train, train them, as I started saying, with our pedagogy. How, how to monitor the discussions in the class, how to help students, how to encourage students. And, but they are very, very uh, unique people 
uh, who are doing their job not only because it's a job but because they believe in what we do and they want to help the students and we put them in classes of 20 to 30 so every time you study a class and again sorry for those who are studying with us and are here today they know it as good as as uh, I know it that we put you in a class of 20 to 30 with students from around the world. So every time a student, a student takes a class, it's 20 to 30 students from 20 to 30 uh, countries. We mix the students together to ensure that they meet other cultures, that they open their minds to other cultures and their friends from around the world to study together, to prepare them to, uh, to be part of the 21st century a workforce where people are being asked to work with teams uh, of uh, employees from around the world. So while doing all that, the leaders in the class are our instructors and they are doing great job. They're getting great remarks by, uh, our, uh, by our students. We are extremely proud of them and uh, I would like to thank, to take this opportunity and thank them uh, for uh, doing such an amazing job. As I said, you know, we're growing exponentially. Last year, summer last year, we had 20,000 students. Now we have about 50,000 students. We wouldn't have been able to, to be there without the instructors who come and teach our students. So thank you for doing it. Yeah, absolutely. And also yesterday, I interviewed another course instructor. Her name is Dr. Semenova, and she teaches health psychology. So um, if you want to learn a little bit more about, you know, what it's like to be a teacher at University of the People, you can certainly check out that interview. It's on Facebook and YouTube from yesterday. Um, okay, so Shai, it is the first day of the new term. Yeah. May, I, may I say one more word? Because if there are a potential professors who listen to this uh, event and would like to volunteer, um, you're more than welcome to, to apply. But you have to know that we are very selective. You need to be trained. You need to pass our criteria. You need to pass our training. And we monitor very closely our instructors before they, we let them into the class and while they are in the class and every term. They are, they are being assessed both by their students and by their peers because while we are very grateful to how good they are, we have to ensure that if any one of them is not performing up to our standards, they cannot stay with us. So I want to say that you're welcome to apply and to come, but you need to know that it's not an easy job to be one of our instructors. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I feel that I have to say that. Yes, no, I really appreciate you adding that um, that piece of information. Um, by the way, if there are any instructors out there or potential instructors out there, you can always uh, go to our website or email us at info at uopeople.edu and we'll be happy to direct you in the in the right, um, you know, to the right way to apply. Um, okay, so it is the first day of the new term, as everyone knows, which is very exciting. New beginnings. Um, we wish you much success. But Shai, I wanted to ask you if you had any specific uh, tips for you know our old students, our new students, or maybe even applicants who are you know just starting out the new term or you know continuing with University of the People. So, I said it before. And I want to say it again. The main tip I can give our students is never give up. I don't think you should give up in life in general. The people who succeed in life are people who don't give up, push hard and make sure that they accomplish their, their mission, their goals, their tasks. But it is so much true for our students. You know, if you are a starting student, in front of you, you have years of hard work but it will pay off if you give if you will be dedicated if you will dedicate yourself to the work never give up overcome difficulties you will succeed if you are a if even if you are a continuing student you already experience some difficulties and you will experience some more the message is if you have a difficulty just hold strong and stay there until you overcome it because, you know, and, and I notice it, and I'm getting emails from so many students on a daily basis. Students who encounter difficulties, 
And maybe they're program advisors. Maybe they're instructors, those that we talked about a few minutes ago. Maybe someone else from the university, or maybe their friend that has nothing to do with the university, met them at that moment and told them, stay, hang up, hang up, hang on, don't give up. Do whatever you need, it will become easier. You know, I know that some students at the beginning have some difficulties with our pedagogy. Peer-to-peer -peer learning is not necessarily trivial for, for people at the beginning. Those who do not give up, second year come to us and say, wow, the best thing about your pedagogy is peer-to-peer -peer learning. The thing that at the beginning they said, wow, this is so hard. So I'm saying don't give up. It will, it will eventually, you will get paid and it will be, it will be uh, rewarding to stay there because we are here to help you, the students, to have a better future. And we are opening the doors for you. And as a graduate of your people, the future is open and the opportunities will be there for you. But you need, you need to complete a degree. You need to graduate. And you, you need not to let any difficulty to stop you. And I keep saying it, and that's the main tip. Because I know that sometimes, you know, I met some students, and some of the students I know, not a lot of them, 50,000 students, I don't know all of them, but some of them I know, and some students that I met, and I'm sometimes, well, these pandemic days, I'm not traveling a lot, but before the pandemic, I traveled around the world, and I used to meet, meet students in places that I came. And sometimes I noticed that one of the students that I met dropped out. And in some cases, I approach them and I say, why? What happened? And the answer was, well, so good that you approached me. You convinced me to come back. And I cannot approach everyone <laughs> that gave up. So you need to do it yourself and assume that I called you personally and asked you not to give up. Because I'm saying, that's your future. You got an amazing opportunity. Grab it. Grab it strong and don't, don't let it go. And the future will be bright. So I want to wish all of you just to continue your studies, do your best, succeed, and together have a bright future. Thank you. Thank you, Shay. Very, very, very nice words from you. Um, I want to just add something to that, that um, one thing that University of the People really prides itself on is the support that we're able to give our students. Um, you know, our cl the classes sizes are quite small. Uh, they're 30 people about. Um, so don't hesitate to reach out to your your program advisor if you are struggling. That's what they are there for. Don't hesitate to reach out to your course instructor. They're happy to help. Um, you can always, you know, DM us on social media. Um, I read every single comment, every single message so we are all we're all here for you and we're rooting you guys on so thank you so much shy for joining us today we know you're a busy man running a university with fifty thousand students and so many volunteers and staff um so thank you so much for your time and i really appreciate it as usual and thank you to all our viewers for being here today it's so lovely to see you. Um, I do see all your comments that are coming in, and they are so nice. I really, uh, I really encourage you, Shai, to if you have time. We know you're busy, um, but maybe to read some of the comments after the live event because they're so sweet and they're so supportive, and everyone's so grateful for what you have created. Um, and we, you really are opening the gates to higher education. So, we, all, we all do, and uh, the students is what we are for. So thank yeah. you all for your support. It's important for us to know that you appreciate what we do because we are here for you. So thank you. Thank, yeah, thank you. you. So like I said, if you guys haven't applied to UO People yet, uh, I did include a link in the description of this event for you to um, to apply. Uh, you know, you're able to apply now for 2021, so go for it. And if you have any questions, you can email admissions at uopeople.edu, or you can message us um, or contact your uh, admissions advisor if you have one. So there's so many ways to get your questions answered. So thank you, Shai. I hope you have a wonderful day. And thanks for being here. And thank, thank you, you, Jessica. It was a great pleasure as always. And thank you all, all the participants. Okay.
Everyone have a great day and even better term and good luck. We'll see you soon. Thank Bye. you. Bye.